Um, I'm really excited about this bill because I truly, truly believe that this is the most transformational and impactful higher education budget in our nation. And as Minnesota, we will be leading the way and saying that we will support all of our students. Unfortunately, some of these same students that we're targeting with this bill, there are all kinds of private foundations and groups and scholarships that are out there helping them. And I just struggle to see why we would thwart their efforts instead of be taking a broader range at working on this. Some of the stabilization money for Minnesota State University Moorhead in my home district, uh, which has been running a budget deficit, this will help them uh, get back on track. And we need these institutions as we move forward. They are the ones for especially those first generation college students. The Minnesota State system is so important to them and so important also to our workforce to provide uh, the workers that we are going to need uh, going forward. And I think about other people who, you know, maybe there's a single parent, a single mother or father who, who works a full time job in a factory and they get up and they, they, they go to work at five in the morning and they get off at one or two and they go to a second job. And because they're trying to make a better life for their family. And then maybe on weekends, they're working a third job. And because they've worked so hard, their income is above that $80,000. And Mr. President, it seems to me that with that arbitrary $80,000 threshold, we are punishing that person who is working two or three jobs to try and create a better life for their family. And the biggest issue that we've been having is that not only was school not affordable, it was simply not an option for students. And it was not an option and it was not an option for our working class families and our students of color. But today, this changes that. And that's why I'm extremely proud because we're opening our doors for all of our students. All senators having voted who desires to vote, the secretary will close the roll. There being 34 ayes and 30 noes, the bill is passed and its title agreed to.